Hello, taco lovers! It's Taco Tuesday! Taco Tuesday! It's here! I'm back! And I have a good, fun recipe that's going to help on the taco belly. <laughs> the taco belly. We're working on that. I don't know what happened this winter when I went on the gypsy bus. Um, I was just eating and drinking and eating and drinking and oh, 10 taco pounds later <laughs> and I've got to do something about it. Hey Joy, hey Courtney, welcome back to Taco Tuesday. I've been in Utah, I was in Utah um, for the past week and I am not cooking from the camper. I am cooking from my lake house. Hey, Diane and Gail and Jackie. Woohoo! It's Taco Tuesday! Hey, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think about my taco hat? It's got the lettuce, the cheese, the tomatoes. <laughs> so much fun! Hey, Joy! It's Taco Tuesday! Hey, Michelle! You missed a good lunch. We had a good lunch. I didn't eat tacos for lunch. <laughs> but I'm eating tacos tonight. Ha! <laughs> Henry, hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> okay, let's get started. Hopefully I can keep my hat on. I might do a little cockeyed thing. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, good gravy in the morning. All right, so here's what we're making tonight, y'all. It is a Weight Watchers recipe. It's eight points, eight points. It's ham, tacos with mango, pineapple salsa. Now, I, I don't think I've ever made ham tacos before. So here we go. We're making them tonight. And here are the ingredients. And I'm going to be sharing with you all about these knives, y'all. Because if you're going to be cooking in the kitchen, you're going to need some good knives. Hey, Helen, one of the worst. I mean, it is so frustrating if you are cooking in the kitchen and you got crappy knives. And, like, it takes way, way too long to do it. <laughs> hey, Donna, we're cooking in the kitchen. We're cooking in the kitchen ham tacos with mango pineapple salsa. Here are the ingredients. You're coming to my neighborhood next weekend. I see that you're you're moving, Henry. You're moving. Okay, uh, mangoes. Hey, Cindy. Pineapple, scallion, cilantro, lime zest, cooking spray. The cooking spray is at the camper, so. I'm doing a non Weight Watchers thing. I want to make some um, hummus and I don't use up the tahini. So, hey, hey, Candace. So, I got some sesame oil. I don't have the spray. So, we're doing that. Cooked lean ham, ground cumin, and shredded uncooked na Napa cabbage. Here we go. Oh, so if you are on Weight Watchers or yeah, I'm on the new I've only been on it two weeks. And you know, I love Oprah. Raise your hand if you love Oprah. <laughs> hey kids, I love Oprah. And so Oprah has done a lot of good things in the Weight Watchers arena. So as I get to chopping. I'm going to share some information about knives. Got to have some knives. Hey, Michael Hancock. Living the dream. Living the dream, Michael. Hey, Rodney. <laughs> everybody, everybody. So much fun. Okay. So, first of all, we're going to make the salsa. Oh, Michael, I have to wave at you. Michael, living the dream. Thanks for your help. Okay, so you can use leftover lean ham. We're going to put a Caribbean spin 
on this with some tropical inspired tacos. So here is my mango. All right, one of the most used knives, my mom, she said she only used, this is like her only knife she practically uses, and that is the paring knife, okay? So, and we got the mango. <laughs> Taylor ham is the best. It's an East Coast thing, just saying. Well, I'll have to look for that, Henry, because uh, unfortunately, and I mean that literally, uh, Smithfield's a big deal around here, and I didn't look at the label. Dang, going if I didn't buy it. But, oh well. I'll have to look up that brand. Don't buy Smithfield. Don't buy it. They don't, you know, if you're going to eat animals, which I am a big meat lover, you want them to be at least um, uh, treated humanely. Yes, Henry, I have a Cutco knife, but we have some Pampered Chef knives, and I'm gonna show you. Hopefully you can see right here. So the paring knife is good for the little small jobs. I'm just gonna trim off the skin Y'all, can you see how sharp it is? That it just peels so easily. <laughs> I love it. And it's small, so it fits right in the hand perfectly. <laughs> All right, good. Mangoes. So I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I don't work with mangoes very often. I know papayas have a seed. Look, here I am. I'm, I'm telling you like it is. I don't think there's a seed in here. But there you go. Could be wrong. All right, so we got the mango. Got the mango peel. <laughs> oh, my hands all cockeyed. Wait a minute. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, my heavens, Betsy. Now you can really see it. Now you can really see, really see it. All right, let me get it. Let me get it right. <coughs> All right, am I on? It doesn't give you, I have, not that I have a big head, but I have a lot of hair. There's not a lot of space up in there. Okay, we got the mango peeled and we need a half a cup of it diced. So, the paring knife is perfect for peeling. Hey, Spence. But it's really not that great for um, uh, chopping or whatever. So here's the utility knife. Oh, my heavens, so fancy. Let me see. Utility knife. Uh, so let me just show you. What is the diagram? Hey, Joanne. The diagram of the knife. Oh my God, let's see, right here we go. Okay, this, this is the tip. This is the point. This is the spine. This is the edge. And, oh, it, do, and it doesn't show, there's a grip guide. Where is it? Oh, that's, so that's the bread one. We're not doing the bread. The grip guide. Oh. oh, we'll do it this way. I love this. So right here, if you're, hey, Ellen, Karen, if you are like uh, just getting used to using the knives, I love Christy and Brandy. This little place right here is the grip guide. So you put your thumb right there on the grip guide. Here is the bolster and the handle made of acacia wood. And then um, this is the tang. Our knives are of the bomb. They're, this is not two pieces. This is all... Look, all, can you see? 
German steel. Oh, let me tell you, iron, uh, each knife is finely crafted, high carbon German steel for superior cutting experience. Here's another thing, lifetime guarantee. You buy our knives, lifetime guarantee. Okay, let's get to it. I think this one is, I use this one sometimes, but I really, really love the utility knife. It's like, you can use the utility knife for everything. So, good. Ah, oh, there is, there is a seed in this. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be careful. What, you know, do y'all cook with mangoes? I should have known that. This one does have a seed in it. Just, so maybe it's papaya? Oh, papaya. Papaya doesn't have the big seed. It has the little bitty baby seeds in the middle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Crystal. Okay. Just takes a little bit. I'm going to eat the rest of that later. We need a half a cup of diced mango. All right. Easy peasy when you have a good knife. Oh, actually, what I'm going to do is put this in the manual food processor too. Here we go. So, <laughs> manual food processor, sir, every mango I've had tried is difficult to cut. Makes me not want to buy them. Well, doll, I get it. But, you know, I, I just showed you this one's easy, easy peasy. <laughs> and if you have a good knife, it really makes a huge difference. I'm going to make a little extra salsa for leftovers. The recipe calls for a half a cup. I think it's probably a little more. So the manual food processor, you, I've never had luck with the electric ones. I obliterate it all. <laughs> So this one you have more control over. Hey Carla, thank you for requesting to be a part of my VIP group. And you guys, you can too. It's Annette's Spicy Life Society with Pampered Chef. Come on over. I got new recipes and um, group specials only. Hey Missy. Okay. Half a cup of mango, half a cup of pineapple. This time we do have fabulous um, natural thing that goes down and cuts the pineapple. <laughs> Thank you, Dixie. Y'all like my new hat? Dixie likes my new taco hat. Taco, taco living. So Johnny Angel. He's working on a new online project, y'all. And guess what? It involves tacos. Yes! It involves tacos! So, I'm not going to tell you everything. But I'm super excited to be working with Johnny Angel on an online project that involves tacos tacos <laughs> hey linda and darlene welcome to the taco party right now i am making mango pineapple salsa this recipe does not call for jalapenos or anything but i like living oh look at this oh my god this is perfect <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to make it a little spicy and adding a serrano. We're living on the edge around here, you know. <laughs> living on the edge. And I'm not even, I hope it's not too hot. But, <laughs> thank you, Linda. I'm going to add some serranos. And... 
it might blow our face off because I'm not well maybe I'll take out a little of the seeds when you get um, hot hot stuff that right there those seeds in the membrane that's what makes it really hot so maybe I'll take out a few just a few just a few and um, so it's gonna spice. It's gonna it's gonna be spicy. Oh well, I like it hot, spicy, more spicy. Make it hot. If my tummy burns, I got an oil for that. <laughs> Just saying, and that's usually when I have to use my digest essential oils when I've eaten food that's too spicy. Reggie, Michelle, happy taco Tuesday. <laughs> okay, we're making the salsa now. Toss together the mango, the pineapple, and some scallions. This one calls for, um, I'm gonna do a couple of green onions. Remember, he, so I'm going back with the paring knife. Having the right knife for the job makes everything so much better. And if you, I really have this amazing training video. If you'd like to learn more about what knife to use for what job all you have to do is just comment below and I'll send you this video it's it's probably like two or three minutes but it's really good on sharing what is the what how do you use the perfect knife for what job there you go just comment below it's it's the nutrition month. Oh, good. Love learning about nutrition. I actually consider going back to school to get my nutrition degree. But, you know, I just want to say, oh, you would love that video? You got it, girl. You got it, girl. Um, I just want to say, this, this is a ton of fun. I'll just learn nutrition as I go, and I'll, and I'll share it with you. Okay, here we go. Salsa, cilantro. Okay, here we go with the cilantro. Got some fresh cilantro right here that I've already rinsed. And then I love this little great gadget. It's um, an herb stripper. I also, I mean, it does do great for herbs. And this is, calls for like three tablespoons. But you see this big hole right there? Oh my God, it does so good for kale. Mm. Put that kale right, kale leaf right in there. Takes it right off. So with the cilantro, oh my heavens to Betsy. We're gonna use, you can see there's all kinds of different notches there. Here we go, do a little strip, get it done. We only need three tablespoons. I'm gonna go, oh, I'm gonna try to do it quick. Quick like a rabbit. <laughs> quick, quick like a rabbit. Hey, Ronnie. Oh my God. Well, I'm at my Lake Monticello house now and we never lose our power. We lost power last night. Big trees down at my river house. Good gravy in the morning. I mean, oh, and my air, my air travel. I'm not gonna even, I'm not gonna complain about the 10 different times we were delayed on Sunday. What was scary this time was we're going into Utah. We're getting ready to land. We're going in. Hey, Vicki and Emily, getting ready to go in. We're going in. We're going in. And all of a sudden, we're going 
back up into the sky. We were all like, WTF, what the heck just happened? And this is what aggravates me, is they take forever to tell you what's going on. So it's like 10 minutes later, we're circling in the sky after we were about to land and he takes it back up in the sky. Now, you can't hardly hear because for some reason, I don't know what it is, I'm always in the back of the airplane. <sighs> um, but it was something about the runway. I don't know if there was another plane on the runway. Did he overshoot the runway? I don't know. But that just was awful. So then we're landing back in Charlottesville where I, where I live. <laughs> I live everywhere. And he landed so hot, I didn't think he was going to be able to stop the plane before we ran out of the runway. I mean, I have, I mean, he, for lack of a better word, slammed on the brakes and. <sighs> I'm glad I don't have any air travel plans for a while. It was, it wasn't very fun. It wasn't very fun. I like going places, but it wasn't very fun. Okay, so you saw how this gadget <laughs> is amazing. Does a great job. So, hey Sandy. I know, I do need to maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Actually, I'm going to chop this up a little bit with our fancy knives. And then I'm going to put it in the manual fruit food processor. Can you see it? Can you see it? All right. Here we go. Look. We've got mango, pineapple, green onions, serrano, and... Um, cilantro and I think that's all it goes in there oh I need a little lime zest need a lime zest yes we do so I'm at one of my three houses and a lot of my my pampered chef stuff is sprawled out with three places but so this isn't this isn't it <laughs> but here we go oh my heavens let's see have you can see it? We're gonna do some lime zest. Gives it that really fresh, fresh flavor. Mmm, I love the smell of fresh citrus. Oh my heavens, so Betsy, y'all. You do have to be careful when you're handling citrus and citrus oils in when you're if you go out in the sun. I was watching this news broadcasting and they were sharing, uh, doing a report on, they were calling, calling them margarita burns. And oh my gosh, hey Cameron. So they would show like these big, huge blisters right around here on the lips and then big blisters right here on your hands. So here, here's, this is the real deal. And it's important that you know this. If you're going to be um, handling citrus, like limes and um, lemons outside, you're like, oh, we're outside at the beach on a cruise. We're doing margaritas. You get this oil on your hands or your face and you get in the sun, it is bad. Bad combination. Bad. You, I mean, like, I'm going to have to wash my hands. I'm in the sun all the time. You're going to have to, I'm going to wash my hands really good. You, the citrus oil and the sun will blister you. And this girl was on TV news. She's the guy says, well, how are the margaritas? She's like, oh, they were amazing. Really? 
No. No margarita is that good if it's going to blister your face and your hands. Just so you know, guys, be very, 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 very careful. It's serious. Serious. Citrus oil and the sun. So, and I'm telling you, um, it is photosensitive for like 8 to 12 hours later. You have to stay out in the sun for 8 to 12 hours later. There's your tip. There's your Taco Tuesday tip for tonight. <laughs> Raise your hand if you knew that. Tell me if you didn't know that. It's a big deal. You really have to be careful. Really do. Okay. There we go. We're going to... Using the manual food processor. Now we got the lemon zest all in here. Hey, Monique and Lewis. Welcome to Taco Tuesday party. <laughs> We're having some tacos. So this manual food processor. Thank you, Monique. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Look, it's got the hamburger. <laughs> Monique, we're not at the Paper Chef con uh, concert convention this year. We had so much fun together when we did that. I'm saying, all right. Oh, this looks good. Ooh. So, um, I love cheese. Love cheese. Mm. Oh my God, you better be careful, girl. You really, really can get blistered. It's serious, serious, serious. Um, so this, you know, you can eat anything you want on Weight Watchers, but everything has points. And I, I don't really mind the point counting. Although I don't really keep track because I go overboard. <laughs> ah, anyways. Cutting back on the cheese, y'all. The taco belly's gotten too big. Too big. So this recipe does not call for cheese. And I already had like three big goat cheese fritters today. Oh my God, this looks so good. Mmm. This is, I wish we had smell-o-vision. <laughs> wish we had smell-o-vision. All right. Oh, my God. I got it. Let me see. Can I get a spoon? I'll be right back. Let me get a spoon. I want to try it. Got to try it. Let me see how hot it is. I put a whole Serrano in there with most of the seeds. <laughs> hey, Sharon. Woohoo! <laughs> it's hot. Got a whole piece of Serrano in my mouth. Whoa! I think I might need to chum this up some more. <laughs> it's hot. Holy shnikes. Oh my God. Oh, get in there. Oh my God, my nose is already running. One bite. Let me, try. Let me see if I can get this Serrano to chop up a little more. Oh my God. I like the way, I like the flavor. Oh, my, nose, my nose is gonna start running. Hey, Shelly! Give me one of those surprise boxes up there in Chicago. Me and Monique want one. <laughs> we want one. Okay. Whoo wee, that is hot. All right, here's what we're gonna do next. And the recipe. <coughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Co 
coat a non-stick skillet with um, some spray. My little spray is all at the other camper. I love sesame oil, so I'm gonna do a tiny bit of that in here. Not Weight Watchers, get in trouble. It's my diet and I'll eat when I want to on Taco Tuesday. Just saying. I um, love, <laughs> yeah, oh goody goody. I've been following what's going on. Shelly, did you know I have four thousand four hundred plus dollars sold this month in pampered shop i mean that is like a fall month forty four hundred dollars in pampered shop this month thank you hostesses and customers i love you i love you i love you i love you <laughs> hey chris and pam love you guys love you love you love you Okay, oh my God, the tacos are hot. They're hot. It's good though, they taste delicious. Cut your non-stick skillet with some cooking spray, set it over medium heat, sprinkle ham with cumin. So here we are again, we're gonna cut up this ham. I love cumin. I know, Shelly, $4,400. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Utility knife. Utility knife. Here we go. I'm going to cut this up in pieces. Look, can you see how, oh my God, having a sharp knife is so incredible. It makes life so much easier. You don't have to, <laughs> I'm just going to say fuss and cuffs. Don't have to fuss and cuss. Hey, Dad! <laughs> Her coaching is here. Another thing that's important if you want to keep your knives sharper longer is to have a wooden cutting board. And I love this wooden cutting board from the PC, the pampered chef. I mean, look, look, look. God. Right down cutting everything beautifully love it so our fully forged cutlery is unequivocal in its class <laughs> i know i wish i was there too um it is 40 percent sharper than other comparable knives hey jennifer <laughs> all right chrissy they stay sharper longer and performs at the highest levels in both initial sharpness and edge durability. Um, you know, they're out there, the Wusthofs, I mean, in a blind, <laughs> I'm gonna say blind taste testing because that I'm thinking about chili. In a blind um, knife sharp testing test, against the top of the top in that level. Yeah, thank you. Unequivocal in his class. Emerald. Love you as amethyst too. <laughs> hey, Michelle. It's, I mean, it really is. It is. Uh, we were rated 40% higher in sharpness in a blind tasting up against knives that are super, super, super expensive. Okay. So now, I'm gonna throw some ham in here, and then we're gonna put some cumin on it. Love cumin. Okay. Ah, I can't believe you're here, Emerald. Love you, love ya. <laughs> oh, Jennifer. Man, so Jennifer, are you at conference this year? So much fun. Love, love, love learning. It's like one of my passions. I love learning. 
learning. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> I think you have an anniversary. Good for you and Brian. Okay. Little cumin. Okay. A lot of cumin. I love cumin. Love cumin. Some people, I have to be careful when I'm competing in chili because I, I will add too much cumin and then it's all about balance. So my balance is I'll cook my tacos how I like them. <laughs> and I, I like lots of cilantro and I like lots of cumin. Okay, so I did a little sesame, toasted sesame oil and some cumin. This is a little lower on heat. I only have it on four, but it calls for medium. Next is all oh, Michelle. I miss you too. Michelle! Michelle! I have on the t shirt you gave me. <laughs> My buddy Michelle gave me this t-shirt. Michelle, look. Tacos on my mind. Thank you. I still wear it, Michelle. <laughs> Thank you. I'm wearing the t-shirt you gave me. Tacos on my mind. <laughs> hey, Barbara. Okay. Next is I need a little kabosh. I'm having some Batsy. Push this to the back. I need a little cabbage. One of my favorite um, slicer. It's called the Quick Slicer. It's at the River House. I know. Isn't that great? So, uh, we, I still have this Pampered Chef. Oh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, it's one of the first ones that I bought. Um, it's very sharp. I think we probably don't sell it anymore because you have to be super careful. And Johnny Angel cut his finger so bad on this. He won't, he's like scaredy cat. Won't use it anymore. So, <laughs> Lord have mercy. I hope I don't have a a dangerous ick situation. I'm just going to do a little bit. Oh my gosh, so it did call for cabbage. This is green cabbage. I think it calls for a different kind of cabbage. <clears throat> but I didn't want to buy the bag. I wanted it fresh. So this is 89, the mandolin. Thank you. <laughs> the mandolin. Yeah. Johnny got a big old cut on the mandolin. <laughs> okay, 89 cents for this. Fresh cabbage. Let me do it like, oh Lord. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> and I'm making a heck of a mess, as usual. That's okay. It's fresh, y'all. Fresh. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit more. I might not have, let me see. So it does have different blades that you can pull in and out, but I'm not doing that because I can't get it done easily. And I have so many things going on at the same time. Okay, front up this ham a little bit. I've never made these kind of tacos before. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. All right, a little more on the mandolin. So at the River House, I, we have the quick grater. This would have been perfect. 
you, I, you know, I love Pamper Chef, but I cannot have three of everything. I can't have one here, can't have one in the gypsy bus, and one at the river house. You have to, you know, you have to have some limits. Hey, Teresa. Not cooking in the camper this time. Cooking in the camper is so much fun. Glad that you are loving life camping also. So I'm going to take a little bit of this moisture out of the cabbage. Yeah, it's going to be good. Mm. Okay. Got a little bit of the moisture out. Of course, it has the favorite stinky, well, it's not the favorite, stinky cabbage smell in here. <laughs> I know. Oh, you're right, Chris. You have to not only be careful when you're cutting, but when you wash it, too. That's a good, good tip. Good, good tip. Okay. Just one more little few details. Our knives are perfectly balanced in the hand. I don't know if you can see that. It's like so, it feels really, really good in the hand. They've made it to, so it's, it's very balanced. Can you see? I mean, look at that. It fits right in the hand. Love the knives. Perfect reason to have your own virtual Pampered Chef Summer Fresh and Fun Pate with your favorite taco queen. <laughs> Just saying, August, I'm booked, booked in July, but I got some good, good stuff going on in August. August is good. All right. <sighs> about three minutes. Okay, so about three minutes. I did this on low. And uh, if you're going to do it on medium, this is like three to four minutes. So I'm going to heat up. Oh, oh yeah. Some a couple of flour tortillas. Oh, that would put in there, but I'm not doing that. I'm just going to do it like this. Put a couple of tortillas and some. Oh, let me turn this down. And some paper towels. I'm going to do a little drip drip of water so it's a little, got a little humidity in the fridge. A couple, I mean not the fridge, the microwave, a little bit. Thirty seconds. And then we are going to eat some ham tacos with mango pineapple salsa. That's what I'm talking about. Cabbage, all fresh, y'all, all fresh. Full of nutrients. Oh my heavens, Betsy. I want you to see the salsa. It's hot. Mm, that was better. The last one, I got a huge chunk of Serrano. Super over the top hot. Now it's just deliciously hot. <laughs> deliciously hot. So here we go. So what we're going to do, get these out of the microwave. Got some tacos. Weight Watcher tacos. Eight points. For two, you too. <laughs> hey, Kelly and Michelle. It's Taco Tuesday. We're having a ton of fun. Ooh, that's hot. It was 30 seconds in the microwave. All right, let's see. I don't have all my... When, I, when you move around as much as I do, you don't have all your little tools for everything. All right, so how do I want to layer this? I think I'm going to do the cabbage on the bottom. 
Little cabbage on the bottom. Can you see? Can you see? Little cabbage on the bottom. And then, I'm going to do the meat. Yeah, I'm going to do the meat, the ham next. Let me turn this off. Ham. Mmm, coated with cumin and sesame. Uh, cooked in sesame oil. I'm loading this baby up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Can you see so far? Here we go. And now the pineapple, mango, serrano pepper, cilantro, salsa. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. And there you have it. Okay. I, I, I don't really like eating on camera, but I have to take a bite. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all, so good, so fresh. It's lighter. You know, like, I love the hamburger tacos, but the hamburger is kind of heavier. Not necessarily greasier, but greasier or heavier in flavor. Mm-mm. Not this. Not heavy. Like, perfect for summer. <laughs> Perfect for summer. Mm, mm, mm. So there you go. <laughs> mm. It's Taco Tuesday, and I hope you've had a fun time with me. You're making tacos tonight, too, Melissa. It's Taco Tuesday. It's an easy theme night. If you're trying to figure out what to cook every single night, have theme nights. Fish Friday. But don't ever miss Taco Tuesday. <laughs> mm. I hope I don't have tacos in my teeth. <laughs> all right, guys. If you want the recipe, all you have to do is comment below. I'll send you the recipe. Um, if you want some um, instructional, uh, an, a short instructional video on the uh, how to use uh, what knives, what knives for different um, chopping, uh, cutting, uh, instruction. Uh, you can comment for that too. <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for being here. Thank you, everybody. My cooking chefs, my taco lovers, my pampered chefs. Um, life is good. Summer is going by quick, so don't forget to enjoy every day. And that's it. Peace. Love. And taco living, baby. Go live the taco life. We're taco living here. <laughs> Bye, babies. Love you. Love you a long time. Happy Taco Tuesday. <laughs>